Lisa, you won't believe it. Roderick beats Arthur at the sling. That's not true. He was in front of the line. <laughs> You're just rubbish. <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. Ugh. If you don't play by the rules... You're going to tell me... Hugo! ...about rules. I keep telling Have you. Have you seen Hugo? Hugo! Hey! Hugo! 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 Oh, no. He's... gone. Gently now, gently. Don't stop. Go on. Hugo! Where can he have gone? Think, Amicia, think. Is that a, a, a village here? Hugo! Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child never runs away without a reason. Open the door! I'm going to find him! All right, but be careful. An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. <sighs> I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I, I don't know. I... I did everything I could to protect him. Even... Horrible things. It is easy to spill blood, but to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go and pray there is still time. Mommy, I hear a news outside. Hugo, that's him. Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, Mommy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie. <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. Hugo. Are you all right? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mummy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. Hugo, no! Leave me alone. Uh, Hugo. Uh, where are you? Where's your sister, eh? I don't know. Yeah, 
She was nice to meet <laughs> It was you. You're not getting away. <laughs> Alicia! I'm here. Everything's all right, Hugo. It's over. Hey, are you all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? No. But why did you go off like that? I heard Mummy. She was calling me. It must have been a nightmare, that's all. I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. But... She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. All right. We must get back to the castle. <coughs> Mummy! Amicia, it's Mummy! What? <coughs> it's coming from over there. We have to go. No, you're not going. But why? Let go of me. Hugo! I'm coming, Mummy. Come back. Mummy, where are you? No, Hugo! There, she's in there. It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. Sanguis duty. When's it gonna end, eh? Soon. The hour of the conjuration People. approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his.
so big. Where's mummy? Material of materials. Gold unique. By breaking you, I clear your way. The way to the blood of the Chosen One. Today's refining gone. The quality is excellent, but the mass of raw episanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. is overwhelmed by the bite. I fear it will now attack his mind. Don't worry. The boy's blood will restore the power's equilibrium. May his soul emerge on and ignem. And look at is thickening. It will soon be necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks. <clears throat> Twenty pounds. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so. Because that's all we'll be able to produce. His faith protects him. Afraid? Not afraid. In the city during the conjuration. You on the list? Yeah. I'll be on the square in front of the cathedral. Oh, so you'll be right next to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us. And I'll be stuck here. We'll all meet again afterwards. The end of the bite. It's going to be quite a party. Sang with steam. Oh, I'm gonna go blind from this. I know I am. Damn it. <gasps> That's enough. I demand to see Vitalis now. 
The Grand Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop. I represent the Pope. Monseigneur, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never approved by the Church. I see here only heresy and occultism. <laughs> Shut up! I know your words, Excellency. Where are you? Magister, the text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the Great Plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. By freeing the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence. The Prima Macula, on the cusp of the first threshold, <laughs> devours the lost carrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, master or slave, order or chaos. <sighs> but how can we be sure? Hey. Uh, Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... Uh, if I may, it's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Rune. Have you tested it? Yes. Uh, alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. 
No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. Proceed. That's enough. You play the martyr. But allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon, you are to be excommunicated. One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop. But not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commences. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. He is with us. Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice Doreen has regained consciousness. He's scary, but I have to follow him. Why does she keep resisting like that? We have the same goal. We both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. Her daughter is making the same error. <sighs> Stupid. But the huh? I know I saw something move over there. At ease. Ad ignem. Ad lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. The blood of the carrier yeah. flows through his it was veins. Nothing. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. What was that? Odd. Congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks. And then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> it seems he has a sense of humor. That he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see his mother myself. What's he going to do with her? Oh no, another way, quickly. Uh, 
I was told that the carrier of the macula is here. Is that right? The child turned himself in this morning. Apparently there was a disagreement. As I was telling you, this god was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant nest. It's just a matter of time. So let us pray that Vitalis' conjuration ceremony will indeed take place. Where is he? I won't find Mammy without him. Oh, his rats. Uh, tell me. Why can't I hear you like the others? Seeing as we have to transport them, you have nothing to fear from them. Meticulous crossbreeding and a little alchemy has tempered their instincts. Not to mention a radical change of diet. Good. Hey, kid. Help me. No. Help me. What's wrong with him now? Hey, no. die quietly. We're trying to work here. I'd rather he wait a little while. Rats prefer fresh meat. Damn you. You'll all go to hell. You, you and your fucking rats. Savor this respite. Your death <gasps> is not an end, for your blood shall nourish a new race of angels. They shall be your children, your pride. It's horrible. It's him. It's going to get mommy. She sees her son with a knife to his throat. She'll come to the grave. I saw Lord Nicholas go past. That Darun woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Uh, serves her right. Uh, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh, no. She's way too stubborn. But no match for our torture. You wouldn't like it out there, believe me. At least here, your carcass can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh, bastard. Answer my questions. You'll soon have your voice back. Mark my words. Oh no, he's coming back. Hi. Mummy? Uh uh. Mummy? Hugo? But, so they... Amicia said you were dead, but you're not. Amicia... My darling... You must go, if they find you here. No, I'm staying with you. Oh, Hugo... Did they take your blood? Oh my god. Oh. 
All right, Hugo. We'll go together. But you have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Can you make it there? Off you go then. Go. Go.